Hello, I'm Nicole Hansen. I'm here to give you an in-depth look at the Thomson Reuters Manufacturing, Distribution, and Engineering Facility, or MD&E. Part of the Thomson Reuters location in Egan, Minnesota, the plant occupies 1.3 million square feet of campus. This makes it one of the largest printing, warehousing, and fulfillment facilities in the United States. MD&E has a strong history of creating quality products for the Thomson Reuters legal, tax, and professional divisions, as well as valued external customers. Hundreds of highly skilled and committed employees are at the heart of the operation that helps make our business thrive. We've consistently been named to the best of the best workplace in the Americas list by the Printing Industries of America. We've also received the Outstanding Achievement Safety Award from the Minnesota Safety Council and Minnesota Department of Labor, demonstrating our ongoing commitment to safety in the organization. MD&E achieves excellence through continual investment in equipment and employee training. In fact, there's a dedicated manufacturing learning center providing employees access to hands-on and classroom training, as well as computer training. Let's take a closer look at this impressive facility and see how it works. The print process begins in manufacturing client services. This organization is responsible for planning, scheduling, and tracking customer projects through the manufacturing process. Dedicated account representatives act as the liaison between the customer and the manufacturing areas, ensuring our customers' expectations are met. After a job is submitted into production, it moves into the pre-press department. Pre-press prepares files for use by either the offset or digital press area using a PDF workflow. Technical specialists work directly with customers on file preparation and delivery methods that best meet their needs. Software automation tools are used to provide accurate data processing to format files for the press, roll size, and binding requirements for each job. Once the files are released for plating, high-speed thermal technology is used to transfer data onto recyclable aluminum plates. These image plates are used in the offset press areas. Plating schedules are synchronized with press schedules and are continually monitored to provide optimal flow. Our press crews work together to produce billions of printed pages per month. The offset area features a fleet of cold and heat set single color web presses providing the ability to print on both coated and uncoated paper stock. Our combination of press formats with varying signature cutoff lengths for 9, 10, and 11 inch product allows us to produce an array of trim sizes with minimal paper waste. Folded signatures are delivered in page formats ranging from 16 to 64 pages at speeds up to 1500 feet of paper per minute. With press runs typically ranging between 150 and 2000 copies, our crews leverage technology, teamwork, and lean manufacturing techniques to efficiently produce quality signatures. The sheet fed offset presses produce quality four or five color covers, inserts, and newsletters. Special colors are mixed on site for quick response to production needs. This provides scheduling flexibility and minimal lead times to meet customer requirements. Our digital print operation features black and white and four color sheet fed printers, as well as several digital web printers producing over 1 billion pages annually. These technologies produce both text and covers for short run jobs without the cost and time associated with using plates. The bindery converts printed signatures and covers into the final product. Softbound books are created using either wire or adhesive binding methods resulting in saddle, side stitched, or perfect bound paperback books. Hardcover binding methods include adhesive burst binding or Smythe sewing. Depending upon customer requirements, covers often go through the laminating, case making, or stamping operations prior to binding. Once all text and cover preparation steps are complete, the components are brought together on one of the multiple binders, stitchers, or casing inlines to create the final product. After final processing in the bindery, Products are prepared for delivery to our customers in one of three ways. Packaging in the subscription fulfillment area, shipping to customer warehouses, or stored as one of the 90,000 plus unique products in our warehouse for future fulfillment. 
The volume of daily shipments from our facility requires on-site processing by postal inspectors. Sophisticated software programs are used to shop for the best rates for individual packages as well as large freight shipments. New customer orders are processed through the company's SAP system, which allows for accurate, cost-effective warehouse and fulfillment operations for Thomson Reuters as well as our third-party partners. Thanks for coming along on the tour of our facility. The highlights that you've seen are just a glimpse at our outstanding people, processes, and technologies that continue to make MD&E an important facet of success for Thomson Reuters and our partners.